Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about the Lavish Layers scarf. So this scarf was in Crochet Magazine, Autumn 2015, one of the first issues that I worked on, I think, um, when I was editor of this magazine. And this is one of my designs. So I just um, talked about it in one of the um, five-minute podcasts in the morning, and I thought, oh, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and make that. So there is a symbol diagram in this magazine, if you can find an old copy of it. I do have two cats up on the table with me today, so we'll see if they are going to interfere. That's Muffin poking her head in. So this uh, Lavish Layers scarf is two layers. It is a background layer of just single crochet. So it is completely made separate, just like a traditional a uh, piece you would chain 22 and then single crochet in the second chain and each chain across so that there are 21 stitches per row. You would make the number of stitches specified in the pattern, in which case this one is 244 rows. It's important to note with this because we're making two pieces of two different stitch patterns, both using the same yarn and the same hook, it's an H size hook, that the gauge is gonna matter. So make your lace layer, and wherever you stop, make the base layer to fit the lace layer, got it? So even though the base layer, um, the background layer is 244 rows, you might change your mind and do 243 or do 245 or whatever works for your gauge so that this piece, it really doesn't, it's not critical. Um, and then you'll put the, the lace layer over the top and then you'll single crochet them together. Okay, so let's talk about the lace. You can also do the lace completely separate without the base layer. And, um, but you know, why do one scarf when you can do two and then just crochet them together? So just like the single crochet layer, we are taking a H size hook and the same yarn. In this case, it is Knit Picks Shine Worsted Weight. This one is Cosmopolitan, the pink, and the gray is called Robot. Okay, so we are taking this yarn and working separately. So it's really making two separate scarves and then crocheting them together. No sewing though. So chain 22, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I hope you're having a valuable and restful, relaxing day. We're just single crocheting in the back loop, back ridge, back bar of each chain all the way across. Oh, big cat leap. So let's speed on ahead. <laughs> Muffin has quite a grip. Now Muffin has all her claws, so um, she can hold on to yarn way easier than Theo. Okay, okay, Muffy. Okay, Muffles. Okay, her official name is Muffin, but, you know, do we ever call our pets by their official name? Sometimes we do, but I have a lot of nicknames for our pets, too. Okay, so I sped ahead and now I'm going to move this symbol diagram a little bit closer so that we can read along while we crochet. So here's the symbol diagram. You can feel free to take a screenshot of that if you want. Okay, so we have our 21 single crochets, which is the completed row one. And now we are going to row. So we have worked. <laughs> We have worked all the way across. We're going to chain one. That's what that tall oval is. And single crochet in the first two stitches. So we're chaining one and we're single crocheting in the first and second single crochets. Now we're going to chain one, two, three and skip one, two, three. So please ignore my manicure. It was perfect when I started <laughs> and skipping one, two, three. And in that next one, we're placing a V stitch, which in this case is a double crochet, chain two, double crochet. So we're skipping one, two, three. And in this next one, we are double crocheting, chain two, and double crocheting. So this is about a five or six row repeat, but once you get it, it'll be a lot easier. 
Then we are chaining one, two, three, and skipping one, two, three single crochets. So one, two, three, skipping one, two, three. And in this next one, we're placing, we're gonna place one single crochet in each stitch for three stitches. One, two, three. Chain three, we're start, starting our second part. This whole repeat, it, this is this scarf is just one repeat because you can see that they're offset like bricks. So we need both this one and this one. I mean, I guess you could make it skinny, but yeah, I mean, I guess you could. So I guess it's actually technically two repeats, but then you would never have, they would just go straight up in a column like this. You need like almost two solid to get this one in the middle where there are two here and then one here and then two there like a hopscotch. Okay, anyway, I digress, I saw, I'm sorry. Okay, so I did my three single crochets, I chained three, I'm skipping three, it's time for another V-stitch. So one, two, three, and in this next one, we're doing a V-stitch, which is, you remember, by our symbol diagram key up above here. A V-stitch is equal to double crochet, chain two, one, two, and a double crochet in the same spot. Now we'll do one, two, three chains. We'll skip one, two, three stitches, and we'll end with two single crochets, one in each of the last two remaining stitches, and we will chain one and turn. The chain one, we know because of that little oval, we'll single crochet in just the first stitch, and then we'll chain four. So we've turned, single crochet in just the first stitch. We are skipping the second one. We're chaining four, one, two, three, Four. According to our stitch diagram, we're now going to place one, two, three, four, five double crochets all in that V stitch. So let's do that. One. Hopefully you can't hear my stomach growl on this video. I am so sorry, but I have to take the opportunity to film when it presents itself, even if I'm not ready. One, two, three, four, because we have a busy house. And so I don't always get silence. So in these three single crochets, we're gonna skip one single crochet in the next. Here we go, and then skip one. So we're single crocheting in the middle of those that three grouping. Chain one, two, three, four. And five double crochets in the middle of that V stitch, chain two space. We're not actually putting the five double crochets in those two stitches but instead in that space made by the two chains so just go ahead and get them in there they don't have to be uh, put in two of the loops of those chain twos you know what i mean one two three four we're doing this all very symmetrical skip one single crochet single crochet in the last one okay so now this next row is a chain of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is a double, tr double treble and a chain three. So we're chaining seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, turning, and we'll place one single crochet in each of the double crochets of that fan or shell of five. So five single crochets, one in each of those stitches. Then we are going to make a bridge or a huge leap of seven chains until we do more single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip all of the stuff underneath it and go right over to the double crochets to do the single crochets, one in each of the doubles four or five doubles. So single crochet in each of the doubles, okay? Now, when we have done that, now we're going to chain three and do a double treble, which you can tell is a one, two, three yarn over. So if you don't know what the stitch is called, it doesn't matter. With the symbol diagram, we just know that those little hash marks mean we yarn over. So yarn over one, two, and three, then insert the, the hook into the next stitch, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, until there are none left. Okay? Easy peasy. Chain one, two, three, and double crochet in the same stitch. One, two, three, turn, double crochet in the same stitch. Then it says one, two, three, 
and we're centering three single crochets above those five. So we're gonna skip one on either end. So we'll start with those one, two, three chains. And then we've got these five single crochets centered. We're gonna skip one single crochet in each of three. One, two, three. Skip one. We're skipping that last one. We're doing chain three. One, two, three. And then we are V-stitching in the middle of that seven. Now I went ahead on my swatch and this time I did center, I did put that V-stitch actually in that middle stitch of the seven because I wanted it to be precise and not like slide around. I thought it would make the lace more stable and it would like that v-stitch then wouldn't slide along the that seven so I'm going to go ahead and choose it's a design decision one two three I'll put it in the fourth one or the middle one of that um, space of that chain I'm going to go ahead and put it in two of those loops anchoring it in that actual stitch so I very, very rarely do that, but I chose to do that in this case because I didn't want it to slide around. I wanted it to stay nice and anchored. Okay, so chain three, and then when we get to this one, two, three, four, five, we're skipping the first one. We're centering those three single crochets in the middle of that five grouping. One, two, three, I dropped it, two, three, and then we are ending with two double crochets in the fourth or third, let's see, I guess it's technically the fourth because it's the double treble plus a chain three. And so we want to put one, two, three, put it in there. So that turns, helps that outside edge structure of that chain seven, okay? One and two. Okay, where do we go next? Chain one, two, three, and two double crochets in the same stitch. One, two, three, and turn. It does not matter if you turn first and then do the chain three, or if you chain three and then turn. It doesn't matter either way. Just be consistent, but it doesn't, it really doesn't matter. Chain one, two, three, four, and single crochet in the middle of that three single crochet grouping. So one, two, three, four chains. One, two, three, four single crochet in the middle of the single three single crochets skipping one on either side one two three four i really think it's critical that you get the lace pattern done correctly from the beginning okay now we're at five double crochets in the v and then once you establish that it is correct on the first go through then you can put your instructions aside and just use those first several rows of your piece to teach you the pattern. So you can keep referring back to the first beginning couple of rows if you're unsure how many chains. So we're doing four chains, single crochet, four chains, one, two, three, four. So I really recommend that after you do the first sequence of rows, that you put it down and really match it against the symbol diagram and make sure that it is all good to go because you're going to be using that as your template or your tutorial for the rest of the scarf if you run into questions later or you can just have your instructions with you wherever you go chain one and uh, turn and do single crochet in each of the stitches chain one and turn single crochet in each of the double crochets, one, two, three. Also, if you're not sure what to do at the end of the row, so we're chaining seven, look at the beginning of the row because it is symmetrical. So we're chaining seven. Remember, we're placing single crochet one in each of the five double crochets. So get the beginning of your row correct, <laughs> and that'll help give you a hint to what happens at the other end of the row, four, five, six, seven. So single crocheting in each of those last three stitches. So this is a symmetrical pattern. It is the same on the right edge as it is on the left edge. Of course, the turning chains, you just have to know that they count as that stitch. 
So this is where reading your stitches really comes in handy. Chain one and turn, single crochet in just two, and chain three. And this is where I like to put the V-stitch actually in the stitch, one, two, three, four, and the one, two, three on the other end. So we're making it nice and uh, balanced with a V-stitch, chain two, v -st uh, double crochet, so double crochet, chain two, double crochet, all together equals one V-stitch, chain three, and then we will center those three single crochets above the five of the previous pineapple. So all of these together, one, two, three, all, it, it takes several rows to make a pineapple. One, two, three, put it in here. It takes several, several rows to make a pineapple. This is one of the easiest pineapples. It is, um, I'm sorry, yeah, these, I mean, it's kind of a pineapple, but it's more of a diamond. It's, it almost looks like a spider stitch. I'm thinking of already, my friends, the next video that I'm making for you, which was the pineapple from the Go Crochet Skill Builder book. That's on my mind as well. Okay, so that is coming if you haven't seen it yet. So skipping one single crochet, ending the row with two single crochets, one in each of the final, final two stitches. Okay, so that is one complete, complete section of this pattern. So now at this point, you could put a stitch marker in the side to indicate that anything below that is correct and would be your tutorial going forward. So then you would just match the stitches. So the V stitch here is the same as the V stitch here. So it's go straight down the line. So if we had the V stitch and we have the V stitch, what comes next? What comes next is these double crochets. So those will go next. And then you can see it like building on top of one another. Another, um, clue that you that will help you know if you are on the right track is if you can tell the right and wrong side they should stay the same so this is the wrong side of these so up here the next row we would be working this way and so the wrong side would be showing here so when you're like looking at several repeats like this one then this is this is the right side, so then this is the right side because I just hadn't flipped it yet. So it should be it should be consistent. When you lay it flat and look at it, it should be right side, right side. Or and then if you flipped it over, it would be wrong side, wrong side. So like when you lay it flat, <laughs> it should be consistent. Does that make any sense at all? Anyway, so you're going to do um, this pattern all the way up, and you're going to finish with the crown here of five double crochets. That five double crochet row is where you will end. Yes, and then um, that will be at the very top. So I would have pulled back one. So you would end with the five double crochets on top of the five double, five single crochets on top of the five doubles, and that is your final row. And then you'll just like literally use your main color to seam it together. So if I pulled back, did I get all the, yeah, I got all the pins out. So you're just gonna take your final row loop and matching stitches, you might even you might even um, stitch marker it together so that you've got a nice even spot, and you will match up stitches for stitches and single crochet the two of them together through both thicknesses, like this. So no sewing is needed. And I, when I do crochet things together, I prefer to crochet them together rather than sew them together because I'm a crocheter and not a sewer. So you just sandwich them together and crimp the edges like you're making a little ravioli by placing the single crochets in the main lace color so that they are bound together in one piece. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time. Fine. 
So if you liked this video, here's another one that's similar that you might also enjoy. And here is the video, the last video that was up uploaded in case you missed it. Everyone, please like and subscribe <laughs> for more videos. They're usually posted on Wednesday or Thursday at the worst. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.